You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. Bang, bang! <laughs> now, the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. What's the best way to customize my weapons around here? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you could sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. think we'd end up here? Let me know what you need. You think this was how things were gonna go when Sentinel came in? Let me know what you need. My weapons aren't going to cut it as is. What's wrong with them? They're old, worn out. I need to keep pace with our enemies. Hmm. Well, you can always upgrade your weapon to a higher quality mark. All you need are the right weapon parts. We have to build everything for ourselves out here. We got people that could fabricate you just about anything. Self-reliant. I like it. You know, you could find parts and materials by dismantling other weapons. They're chock full of stuff. Well, I'll have to see what I can find then. Think I'm a damn amateur? I won't be firing any shots. Traps, bows, will be as silent and deadly as your farts. Yeah, very 
funny. Actually, one of them is you'll steal food from New Oregon. That's where the harvest from the automated farm. You ever see yourself doing this? I'm gonna need better weapons than this if I'm gonna take on Sentinel and these drones. Shoot. You think we wouldn't like weapons that could take out those drones? No. We don't have the kind of hardware you're looking for. I guess I'll just have to take what I need from Sentinel, then. That's certainly the most direct route. But there might be another way. We do have some very skilled craftsmen here. They might be able to make something for you. Only thing is, they'll need blueprints for what you need built. Where can I get blueprints? Well, Sentinel Corp came here with their own design schematics. They got blueprints for every weapon you can think of, and are using scale tech tooling to craft whatever weapon they need. You'll find them anywhere that's protected by Sentinel Corp, and in particular, the wolves. Be sure to check every military crate you run across. Sounds promising. I'll keep an eye out. So is the broadcast having any effect? Group of outcasts saved my ass out there. Might be a good idea to join forces. I got whatever you're looking for. How are you feeling about all this? <laughs> 